as they get ready to roll off in turn number four. Green flag is out, we're underway, and Dink here gets the jump, and Dink and Sowery is right there behind. Lon Laurel trying to settle in right behind, but he's got the 88 of Kenny Bamford on the outside. Bamford slides that car in front and jumps the door, settling in right behind Dink and Sowery. Up front, Ron Dink here, Jimmy Dink and Sowery, one and two. Kenny Bamford is third, Ron Laurel, Pete Fernandes round out the top five. Roland Wheeler, six, battle for seventh, looking Kenny Spence to work the outside group. He was strong in his heat, looked strong off the turn number four, right in front of the number six, so Roland Wheeler throws his progress up just a little bit. The field starting to swing itself out. Roland gets kicked up to the outside. Fernandes is right there to take over that fourth running position as they roll across the start finish line. Down into one and two. Gamford gets the 71. A shot. Vincent Sarandos goes off around turn number three. That's going to bring out a caution for the first time. He gets Barry on the front row, the 88 of Kenny Bamford, Ron Laurel, row number two. Two laps in the books off of turn number four, green flag is out, and St. Pierre is strong off the start. He gets Barry able to settle in right behind, right in front of Kenny Bamford, but Jerry gives St. Pierre a shot down the back straight away. The red number 71 of the rookie contender battles with the number 36 of Ron St. Pierre. Here comes Laurel, gets Dinger out of the outside. He's able to hand out, hang on, but he loses a whole bunch of positions. And around goes the zero, Mike Tracy off at turn number two, bringing out our second. How many wins? Doesn't matter. Looking for the green now off at turn number four, Ron St. Pierre, Jerry Diggis Barry. This time, Jerry was able to handle them for a little bit, but not much. As St. Pierre leads him down into one and two, here comes Bamford back on the outside. On the inside, Laurel's got a problem with that yellow and blue number 65. Battle for the lead off at turn number four. Diggis Barry gets cut up on the outside. Bamford is right there on the inside. He's got that lane locked up, and Diggis Barry starting to slide back just a little bit on the outside. They said they might be able to run this race, depending on how the car felt. Well, the car is running strong, but sliding back on the outside as Peter Fernandes gets by on the inside. Down the back straightaway. Fernandes off to third. Here comes Glenn Lawton in the orange and white, number 70. He works the inside groove. Fernandes trying to hold on. Lawton takes a look down to the inside. Goes from there as Diggis Barry continues to fly back, bringing with him the points leader, the number 25 of uh, Brian Souza. Corey Boudreau trying to work his way. Three wide action. Look at that. Souza threading the needle down into one and two. Can he make it stick? He does. And Diggis Barry's got a lid off the throttle before selecting the outside, retaining Wallace. And he loses a whole bunch of positions. Good job, smart move by Jerry. St. Pierre continues to set the pace. Now Glenn Lawton takes a look to the inside of the number 26, Peter Fernandes. Looking to become the first three-time winner in 1999 in our sportsman division. He's got a good run going on that outside groove. He battles with the number 88 of Kenny Bamford, double wide, down into one and two. He's got the points leader right behind Brian Souza, trying to hold on to that points lead with just five races left, four after tonight. Off the corner they come, St. Pierre looking for the Four big feature win, battles with the 88 of Kenny Bamford. We've got 12 laps in this time by at lap 13. We are at the halfway point. St. Pierre leading from the top of the green. Been able to hold up all the competition, but look at the cars lined up behind him. Kenny Bamford, Peter Fernandes, Len Ryan, Ryan Susan, James Lawrence, Corey Bidrop, Kenny Spencer, Len Young, all looking for a way by, all looking for a way to the front. Down the back straight away, St. Pierre opens up about a car length lead over the 88 of Kenny Bamford. Bamford quickly closes the gap down into one three and four. Peter Fernandes edging up ever so slightly on the outside. An inch, an inch here, an inch there, another foot, and he finds himself dead even off a of turn number four with the 88 of Kenny Bamford. Across the line, he edges him up. Very good draw. Looking to that third group. Bamford goes around off a of turn number two. Everybody makes it by from second to last in a matter of a second, and that's going to bring out a third question. Well, that's something we haven't seen in a long time for the sportsman division. Looking for the green off turn four up on the throttle as they come, and they even down into turn number one for Andy is able to hold on. 
Souza gets underneath St. Pierre. St. Pierre gets sideways. Souza, up. Souza. And now Glenn Watt finds himself in the runner-up position. Off the corner they come, nose to tail. For the Eddie. Watt, St. Pierre. Now Souza and the 81 are James Lawrence going at it down the back straightaway, trying to split to number 36. St. Pierre gets kicked up into the outside groove. Zuzi gets by down on the inside. Off the front. Nino Fernandez sets the pace with eight laps remaining in this feature event. Glenn Lawton wants to get by. He wants the taste of the champagne in victory lane. He takes a look to the outside. He knows he's got to do it the hard way. But Fernandez is doing a masterful job holding on to the lead. Brian Souza is right there. St. Pierre gets loose off in turn number two. Finds himself in mid-pack down into three and four. Brian Souza gets his shot down the inside of Glenn Lawton. They are, that is about a second. This is exactly what Peter Fernandez wants, especially with five laps to go. Kenny Bedford goes around off in turn number two. He keeps that 88 rolling, but he's going to bring it to a stop as the field was coming down hard. That'll put him back on the outside of the front row. Put Brian Souza third, Corey Boudreau fourth, with Kenny Spencer, James Lawrence, Glenn Young, Jerry DeGasperi, Ron Loro, and Ron St. Pierre, your top ten cars. Looking for the green with six laps remaining. Fernandez gets the jump on the start. Ron trying to hold on to the outside. Ryan Souza is right there down low. Glued to the back buffer of Fernandez down the back straightaway. Takes a peek to the inside. This time by. Eddie Moran will let him know there are five laps remaining in this feature event. Loses a little bit of ground down off of turn number two, down the back straightaway. Souza finds himself just about all alone in second. Here comes the three. Kenny Spencer. The 99 for Glenn Young back up into the top five after having to start deep in the pack. Off the back straightaway. Six cars under a blanket looking for the win. Four to go this time by. Three wide, deep in the back. Titus on the inside. Oh, Jorge Corbett through. Up on the side. Rolls down the front straightaway. Glenn Watt is going around. Kenny Spencer is involved. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay away from the fences. As three drivers hard, and that's about as hard as we've seen a hit in a long, long time. They've checked on Glenn Watt. He gave a thumbs up. They're checking on Corey and Kenny Spencer. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain in your seats. As they check on the drivers, the ambulance and the safety crews are on the scene checking on these drivers. A thumbs up from Eddie Moore on Corey Boudreaux, but we will wait for the official word from the scene. Kenny Spencer has climbed out of his car. Still waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain in your seats. There is gasoline, water, and oil on the track. We do not want any instances. So please stay in your seats. Corey Boudreaux is climbing out of his number 21. And Glenn Lord has climbed out of his number 70. All three drivers are okay. Again, ladies and gentlemen, please return to your seats. The drivers are okay. We need all the focus on the safety crews to get these cars back upright and back into the pits. The good news is the drivers are okay. The cars can be rebuilt, and you can see there's going to be a lot of rebuilding in all of these cars. Both looking for their third win of 1999. Four laps remain. Who will it be off of turn number four? Looking for the green. Eddie Moran's got it in his head. We're back racing. And Fernandez gets the jump over Spencer, over Susan. And look at the fireball squeezing down the bottom and find himself looking for second with three laps to go. Fernandez leads him off the corner. Sparks fly between Susan and Young. Down into one and two. Fernandez leads him down the back straightaway. Souza on the outside, the black 25. Young down on the inside, the rack black and red 99. The twin sticks are up. Two more seconds to go. For Fernandez, now Young up into second. 
Lawrence trying to find his way down to the bottom as they head down the back straightaway. The white flag is out. Final time around. Does Young have anything for Nannies? He takes a look down low. Got in from underneath. He's got to settle in, but not settling for long. Down the back straightaway for the final time. For Nannies, Young, Lawrence, Susan Diggins, Barry. Checkered flag is in the air. Young has one last crack. He can't do it. For Nannies, no one for the win. Young in for second. With James Lawrence third, Brian Sousa fourth, and Jerry Degas Barry rounding out the top five. The Carriage Shed Automotive, RNC Auto Service, G Lopes Construction number 26, sits in Victory Lane, out of Taunton, Mass, the Dave Eldridge Jones Chevrolet for Peter Fernandez. battle scars of his endeavors of last evening. the condition this car was in I would say maybe 12 14 hours ago this one is for my crew and for every person who laid their hands on this car we have been up all night long none of us if any of us have got more than an hour's sleep I would be surprised they have worked their bone they have just worked their <laughs> to the bone to the bone they have worked yeah! their bone on this car unbelievable unbelievable and this one I just want to say is for them it's definitely for them for all you guys yeah! behind you once you get out front. Brian Susan gave a little bit of a couple of shots there. He was kind of strong. Yeah, I saw Brian up there. When I saw Brian when that red came out, I was like, oh, here we go. I know he's looking for his third, and, you know, I was, just, I was just happy to get it from him. I really wanted to do this for my crew. And for my sponsors, I'd like to thank G. Lobes. I'd like to thank Gilly and Gary. Them guys have always been great to us. Um, I'd like to thank um, RNC Auto Repair. They came on board this year. They've helped us out big time. Um, I would thank all my other sports. If I've forgotten you, I'm sorry, but when I see you, I'll definitely be thanking you. I'd also like to thank um, uh, Glenn, uh, Glenn Young's crew. Uh, we actually got here and we had a problem with the drive shaft, and he actually gave me the drive shaft. And he kind of told me when we were going through uh, tech uh, the last time uh, I was getting any parts from him. So uh, I'd like to thank them guys too. All right, tonight's feature winner for the third time this season. Yeah! Yeah!